When I grow up, I want to be the biggest porg on the island. Oh, one day you will be as big as me. Just be sure to eat all your fish and get plenty of exercise. Remember all those years ago when you told me I would one day be the biggest porg on the island? Yes, I remember it well. You are such a cute little creature. <laughs> I'm feeling hungry. There does not appear to be any more food on the island. You should go and catch some fish. I haven't come across a fish in weeks and I'm starving. There's only one thing on this island that I can eat. I'm sorry, dear mother, but I am simply too hungry! Oh. Hey there, Funko fans. Today we have some nice finds from Target, including a monster 10-inch pop. So let's take a look. This guy is the paw, yes. I broke down. I couldn't handle it anymore. I needed a giant 10 inch porg as every home does and he was pretty lonely on the shelf look at that face they didn't have any others there I noticed there was a bit of box damage here but I think they pretty much all have that when they cut open the cases so leave a note in the comments if you've got one without the cut there I'd be interested to find that out so, he's part of the Star Wars line for The Last Jedi, and here is the cast of the movie, various pops. So, there he is. Let's crack open the box. Hopefully I can fit him in frame, and then we'll compare him with the smaller Porg. Alright, here he is. Not only is he 10 inches tall, he has a nice bobblehead action. So he is a beautiful specimen. We have the Star Wars there on the base. I think he's, he's stuck to this, it's just as well. So let's get a closer look at him. His mouth is actually open there with his little strange cry. Okay, he's secured at the back there, so his tail, I guess, doesn't fall off. Wings are secured as well. So, really, oh, I like the detail in the feet too. Very cool. So, this is a giant, there we go, fit the whole guy in. Giant 10-inch porg. So, let's compare him got the other one up here so this box you could probably fit uh, let's see eight of these boxes in the space that the 10 inch porg takes up so let's crack this one open again we've seen him on the channel before but let's do a quick size comparison okay so <laughs> this guy as you can see is much smaller We'll put him next to the larger one. And you may have seen these shenanigans already in the opening skit. Uh, his head does not bobble quite so well though. I think that's the one, one advantage of this giant one. You can really get some good bobbling going on. So the proud parent and the younger Porg massive size difference there but other than that pretty much the same thing the little guy's mouth is closed I'm not sure there are any variants where the mouth is open but that is our giant porg so let's set him aside in the corner he can stare at us throughout the video and let's take a look at what else we got from Target over the past couple of days okay so this one 
This was the Young Ford from Westworld. So if you have seen Westworld, you know what this is about. If you have not, I'm not going to spoil it. Just suffice it to say that there's a lot of robot characters in the show. So here we have Young Ford. Here's the cast. So I'd actually like to collect more of these. We've got Dolores, Teddy, Maeve, Man in Black. I've seen him around before. Dr. Robert Ford, I believe I've seen. Bernard, I have not. Okay, so that is pretty cool. And this one came from Target Online. It was packed in along with another item. I've got a different video for that. Um, but yeah, they were packed pretty well. Um, this was nestled in some bubble wrap. So I don't think there are any real box problems I could detect. So that is very good. So let's crack open Young Ford, and apparently he was a Funko 27 Summer Convention exclusive. So let's take a look. Okay, gaze into his eyes. That is sort of creepy, and yeah, they've just got the face. <laughs> if you look like that, it looks a bit like a Muppet. We just had the face connected together, so they've probably taken parts of a regular mould and just split it apart, glued it in there. Some nice detail on the teeth and painting around the eyes. I would say that's probably a better paint job than I've seen on the Vampire Bob. I had a look at that today and it seemed pretty terrible on the one I saw. He's got a staff here, or walking stick as he goes prowling through the land of Westworld. It's like an uneven western frontier territory. Nice outfit there. He's got his uh, black pants, vest, and his shirt. He's even got some socks. So that is young Ford. His head doesn't move around too much. Definitely no bobbling. So very nice. See if he'll stand up on his own. Nope. So that is young Ford. And finally, we also picked this one up today, along with the Porg. Had to have it, because I'm a Five Nights at Freddy's fan, along with my son. This is the Nightmare Cupcake Target Exclusive. You're probably saying, what on earth is this? Well. The story behind this in Five Nights at Freddy's 4, we have Nightmare Chica, which is this um, bird-like animatronic character, and this is one of its props. Well, this thing comes to life and does the jump scare thing at various points, if you are very unlucky. And I just thought it was hilarious that they actually made this into pop form. So, what else do we have? Nightmare Bonnie, Nightmare Chica, Nightmare Foxy, and the Cupcake. So we actually would like to collect the whole set of these. Um, they have a whole lot of other Funko Pops, Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, the twisted ones are the ones we see typically on the shelves these days. So let's crack this open and take a closer look. <coughs> And there's the candle of the Nightmare Cupcake. This is pretty cool. You can do the jump scare that's sort of... I'm not sure which... I can't remember which direction he would come from or up. But yeah, this thing has teeth and scares the living daylights out of you when you're playing that game. Um, it's been... the game's been around a few years, so people are probably a little jaded by this now, but you see this Five Nights at Freddy's stuff everywhere these days. Almost a bit of oversaturation, but I like the... the detail here on the teeth, the eyes. He's got a little bit of wear and tear up there, as all of these Nightmare characters do in the original, the um, more... Uh, put together, shall we say. Not so many problems, they're not falling apart. So that is very cool. This is the Nightmare Cupcake. And could you imagine, we've got a little paint floor there. 
Could you imagine a 10 inch version of this? I'm sure Funko and other people have imagined it. That would be hilarious, but not quite as hilarious as a giant porg. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more pop unboxings. Leave a note in the comments if you are also collecting the Westworld series or any of the Five Nights at Freddy's Pops. And which is your favourite of those? Um, I'm thinking the Five Nights at Freddy's. I definitely think the designs are pretty cool. So. What do you think of them? And also, what do you think of both the Mini Porg and the Giant Porg? Every home should have a bobblehead Giant Porg. Leave a note if you agree. Alright, thanks for watching and see you around.